It's 1877. Thomas Edison hasn't quite yet figured out how to mass produce the light bulb, so the world is still mostly dark. But it comes alive in sound. Edison produces the first viable phonograph, and for the next 100 years, sound recording and production remains in the hands of an elite and highly trained few. Fast forward to 1987. I'm a year old. Digital multi-track recorders are about to get very cheap. My dad buys our family's first PC. It's a Zenith computer, the one with the blinding green screen and the huge floppy disk drive. He never lets me forget his decision to pay the extra $1,000 so that we could have the massive 10 megabyte hard drive instead of the puny 5 megabyte one. Cut to 2012. Technology is evolving. More platforms are open source, and the tools we need to record and produce music are available to practically anyone with a computer. Music, recording, and production isn't only about consumption anymore. Huge profits aren't necessary to balance out the high costs of recording on souped up phonographs. So this means we can make music for its own sake, for its sound, for its experience, for its shape, for its art. We can reproduce, distribute, and perform with more creativity and accessibility than ever before. And so what happened in between? A generation of musicians and listeners between those that developed the 10 megabyte hard drive and those that take a terabyte flash drive for granted. I'm a musician, composer, and producer, and I'm here to show you what it looks like and not just sounds like when music and technology converge. As you will see, I haven't abandoned the traditional forms of playing music. I've simply integrated them with the tools and opportunities available to musicians and creative people in general. I'm going to play two songs for you, um, using my iPad to control my computer to mix both the audio and the video. I distribute my music on Bandcamp. I stream it from my computer, or from my, sorry, from my website. I market it on Facebook, and in the next few months, I hope to fund a full-length version of the performance you're about to see on Kickstarter. This is my world in transition. Thank you. 
some of you, and the rest of you, if you uh, want to stand up and make this a little bit more of a concert, I'd be okay with that.